Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled. It's a regularly scheduled meeting that was postponed until Friday, Tuesday because of holiday. So it's regularly scheduled to just move the date of the uh, Sunderland Select Board and Finance Committee. Um, it's April. 16th better than October which I said last time it's uh, called to order at uh, 634 the first thing we have up on our agenda is our old friend not he's old but been around for a long time Richard Lapotka <laughs> <laughs> Our new old friend, how's that? Uh, Richard Lapotka is representing the personnel committee and with a presentation of FY20 recommendations from our personnel committee. Richard? Okay, thank you. The uh, personnel committee, fresh off, the order today was we voted on these uh, uh, statements and we passed them 5 0 earlier this evening. So you're receiving uh, the ideas of the feasibility uh, ideas that go with the, uh, this year's uh, program. You'll see it when you read our write up uh, that we've actually started to do this grant, grant programmatic way of doing things. So we, Take it out and have a good map of where we're going. We sort of did that already. This this starting point on the uh, recommendations uh, tells us that we have 13 uh, people that qualify for this requirement in terms of being uh, non non union. And uh, with that, we've described and started to do it in the way we talked about doing it in the last couple of years. So it's a programmatic approach. It looks uh, more than just getting the numbers we're looking at, but uh, a new frame would be for the whole compensation side for, for these kinds of people. So there's only two pieces of it today. One is the uh, uh, approval of a, uh, what's this next thing I have to say about that? The COLA? The COLA, yeah. The first, the first item on the table is the COLA at 2%. Uh, if you look at what's going around, you know, go look here, go there, you find out that 2 is probably the number that most places are gravitating to. So we'd recommend we start with that and be in the game. Part of the problem we have is that over the last 10 years, basically, we sort of played outside the game. A lot of people would have numbers around. We, we basically stuck, stuck with keep it low. That, that would be that. So now in the future, for, for getting uh, COLA straightened out, we're going to spend more time figuring out what, where is the community, where is the state, where are we going in general, and put ourselves in the middle of that. So that's going to be the style of operating in, to get this un, underway. And we have the recommendation that uh, in order to do a 2%, you want to get that money coming, 2% COLA is. <coughs> The 2% COLA is $10,410.39. Okay. And we strongly recommend we pursue with that as our uh, statement for the overlay. The second vote in this paper is that to vote for uh, non representative employees re receiving uh, support if they do not fit in their qualifying. Uh, level of support, uh, and uh, in order to do that, uh, we understand that we have people that are uh, not represented uh, and can, cannot be uh, uh, compensated adequately. With that, I'm going to ask to be excused because I, some of you know sort of what my challenge is, and I would ask if if uh, Somebody would take my place and finish this presentation. Michael? Uh, board members. Uh, Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. 
The, uh, the second uh, recommendation from the personnel board is in response to our challenge, or our charge rather, not a challenge but a charge, um, from last year um, to uh, have the weight study completed, which it was, the Collins, uh, the Collins Group out of UMass Boston um, did a weight study, uh, market value, towns similar, similar to, you know, area, area towns. Uh, I think they chose nine, nine or ten towns. It's, it's in their report. But as a result, um, to keep in line with the current market, that uh, the salaries be adjusted. Some of these salaries haven't been adjusted for quite some time. And uh, those salaries to be adjusted uh, to the current market rate at the very bottom of the recommended step. So regardless of years of service, uh, employees uh, who are seeing their, a market increase in their positions uh, will go to the bottom of the market value in our step system. It doesn't include longevity. But um, that figure would total to adjust salaries to the competitive market value to $35,728. That includes departments that include the town hall office administration, the library, the police clerical, highway, and the highway department. The police chief, the administrative assistant, or town administrator, and the police department would not be included other than uh, because of uh, contract uh, negotiations elsewhere. Not with the personnel board. But again, we, we strongly uh, uh, support this. Uh, it was unanimous uh, downstairs, and it's something that we've been working on, on for some time, and something that started, like I said, last year. The proposal was set out last July, um, and uh, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't give anyone big, big bonuses. It doesn't put them to the top of anything. It puts them to the bottom of the new, of the new pay structure classification <coughs> plan. And uh, again, we, uh, we strongly recommend the, the board uh, seriously take this into consideration in FY20. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Scott, Dave, any questions? No, I don't have any questions on it. I, I've been working on this with those guys for a while. So it, and it gets us, like they were saying, to the puts us to the bottom level of all of our new list of comp towns, essentially. Mm -hmm. So it gets us in there. <coughs> we have a lot of work to go yet, but this is, yes. this is a great beginning and one that needs to be addressed. Because the further we push it back, the worse it gets. Yeah, it just spreads over time. Yep. You, you know, if you have a leaky roof, you, your, your choice of fixing is with a bucket under the leak, you're going to have to pay more down the road. And that's what happens. So it's just you better fix it when it's broken. Scott? I don't have any comments at this point. Elliot? Board of Finance? Uh, just to ask that this, is, this 46 138 is along the lines of what we discussed. At our last meeting, is it not? We discussed around 40 was, I think, the number. Yeah. This still fits in with right. with our projected budget going with a 200,000, right? Yeah, I think we had that in there. Uh, no, the only we, thing that's we, reflected we in the budget is the 2%. 2 this yeah. wasn't included. That's right. Because the committee had made their recommendation, yet we're still. Yeah. Alec? Just to clarify, this would be. The, the 46 would be an adjustment up to the bottom of the competitiveness and then a COLA on top of that. To oh, right, it would include the 2% COLA. Okay. Right, because when, when you're doing the COLA too, that decreases the amounts that, because we do the COLA first essentially, and then you want to look at after the COLA, like what has to be adjusted mm -hmm. to get you to that minimum. So, okay, so the competitiveness, doing the COLA, hmm. The competitiveness salaries are basically what you project the salaries to be next year? No. no it, it, good, good. Do you want to? 
what we're trying to do, or what we're trying to do is to bring everybody that works for the town, bring their wages up so it falls within a, a, some parameters mm -hmm. so that we are competitive with the same positions in the towns that we compare yeah, us to. All those towns are about to give their employees colas as well, right? Right. Well, so that are numbers a year behind? Or are our colas going to bring up those adjusted numbers so that next year everybody's going to be... The cola is support, with The cola goes in first at 2%. Then any body that, that doesn't, whose wages are still below, is brought up to competitive. Exactly. And is that, what I'm asking is, is that competitive? They're brought up to the based minimum the, yeah, recommended. Based on what we know right now for those given comp towns. Okay, so like in so a they, month when those towns institute a COLA will be a year behind. That yes. could be. Well, it yeah, could, very be. Well could be. It's possible. It yeah. depends on when they do it. But yeah. And if that happens, then again, the, the, these are the things we have to I mean, keep in mind going forward mm -hmm. because we are going to have to compete with, or we are competing with, every other town in this area for the same talents. And they will go where you know the market best fits. And, and let me also add uh, something that uh, if we don't do something like, I mean, if we don't do this, what we end up doing is we're, we're inviting our employees to form unions. Because at that point, then we have no choice but to negotiate with them like we do any other union. I just also like to point out that since we paid last year to have five thousand dollars to have this study done, it it would feel pretty disingenuous to disregard the recommendations of something we paid this money for, when people on the floor of town meeting requested that that money just instead be be given straight to the employees. So it's a good thing we didn't because the, the staff gets uh, apparently forty six thousand instead of five. So. Good thing we did the study. Yeah. Right. I know there was some objection to it, but I think it made a lot of sense in the long run. Yeah. Have, have, to have a foundation to actually represent the point. Right. Yeah. So, so I have a question for the personnel committee. And my question is, ha, ha, did you talk about how you could, like, there, I see positions at $5.29 under under. I'm going to say scale, for lack of a better term. $5.61, $4.79, $2.26. Was there ever a conversation on how those positions are so low? And, 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 and how, how, how did they, you know, did they start out arbitrarily low? I mean, because, and, and, I mean, we do have a lot of positions that are pretty close to the... So the, I mean, the highway department, 57 cents an hour. So that's not, you know, not a lot. I mean, it is if you're not making that 57 cents, but I'm saying 57 cents is a long way from $5.61. Mm -hmm. And it, so did the personnel, personnel committee talk about how those salaries became so disappropriate? Education, and, education was, uh, was one of the factors that was brought out in the report. How's that, Michael? Um, some of the, re the education requirements for these positions. Did they change? Or, or Tom, I don't know. You tell me. You uh, well, the, the I, 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 I don't. I don't know. So that that that's why that's why I asked. I asked a question. I think that's something maybe the trustees can bring up because, or the librarian, because that was discussed in our personnel board. Yeah. So these are um, and the ones you're pointing out are the library staff salaries and the. Employees who are getting the biggest raise have been here for nearly 15 to 20 years, so they may have started out at like $8 an hour or something when that was the going rate for a position of that type. Um, they also have evolved. They've been here for a very long time, so their position descriptions have changed and they have taken on more duties. So that has changed while their salary has essentially stayed the same. So essentially, it's they've, they've been in the town for a very long time, maybe starting at a slightly lower position, but their position has evolved over time, but the salary has not. And so they've been getting these, you know, 2% COLAs, no COLAs some years, but they've never received an actual actual raise, an adjustment to you know, compensate for that. So they've been, you know, they started out extremely low. They've been here for a very long time, but they're just getting those tiny percentage increases each year. So there's no, there's no growth. 
That's why you fall behind. That far behind. If, if I, I could. think that's what's happened with most of the top employees, non-union and, and non-contracted. Scott? I was going to ask, building on that point, Mr. Chair, if the original advertisements going forward are this baseline, is that going to bend this curve in such a way? Right? So the original ads are blank. I want to be a policeman for $14 an hour. Okay. We do a survey 10 years from now, it's actually $19 an hour. But, you know, how, how do we, how do we, how is it the personnel committee and the board and department heads are going to be able to adjust the job classifications when it comes time for posting? So we don't hire at eight. Well, I think what you, right. what you want to do, and, and again, um, what are the requirements of the job? Mm -hmm. You know, and I think over the years, in the, in the 17 years and, and 22 years of the head of the department of, in the library, that position's changed. Sure. And the same thing, you know, same thing with the higher department and or assessor's assistant or whatever. Yeah. And you, you know, again, this document is a living document. This, this doesn't die. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Right, and and this is something that the personnel board will continue to work with. You know, this Collins study did not look at longevity. But what's changed in the positions of the job mm -hmm. and the demands of the job in regards to libraries, it would be an educational issue, mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree or or whatever in in. Uh, public administration and or but, but in short the answer to your question would be yes because now if you've got you pick any position off of there if we've got a post for it then we'd be posting at that new rate so this, this is this could well trigger a full-on review of positions across the employment spectrum of the town well I, I mean, mean it should if you're gonna well, have this a, if, if we had yeah, to start from scratch today oh. right and we had to get rid of 18 people and fill it with 18 positions. Yeah. Do we have the old job descriptions? Yeah, so, does. Yeah. The old ones, are they going to be reflective of these salaries is the question. I think these salaries are reflective, reflective of, the of the current job. positions. Right. Okay. So, yeah. I wouldn't see a change necessarily in job description mm -hmm. unless a given department head said, yeah, yeah you know, we additional, need to change that. Additional education requirements, additional right. responsibilities. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right. Okay. You know, so but. what we asked for was a low mid-max range mm -hmm. so that when new people are coming in or we're advertising a position, uh, yeah. we can take things into consideration. You know, you know, how long have they been in the field? What are their qualifications, certifications, and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And also take a look at what the town has for funds, right. too. Um, that plays into it as well, so I that we mentioned that in the beginning. Yeah, we really didn't go with a step system because that's um, it seems to be a given in in many places, mm -hmm. and we wanted the town to have the flexibility based on what was available for funds and what the qualifications of the person okay. coming in are they entry so level or have they been in the field somewhere right. else for ten years? So maybe they're right. mid. Okay. Or maybe they're somewhere in between, but so that we could take a look and, and try to place them fairly and competitively on the scale. It gives us a little flexibility as a town, and then it also brings us up into a more competitive. Based on available funds. Right. Too. That's always the underwritten. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the next conversation. Yes. Well, the thing is, gentlemen, you negotiate contracts with the police, you negotiate contracts with the chief, as well as the administrative assistant, and you use a three-year contract. Up to, yeah. And? Sometimes. Not all the time? No, sometimes it's been one. Well, sometimes we've six done months. 18 months contract, we've done mm -hmm. six months contract, we've done well, two months contract, sometimes we don't, we don't contract? have a contract. It's Currently three. 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 Yeah. At and the most and, three. And we're asking for a one-year agreement here. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you're asking for a step change, essentially, but yeah. No, we're not asking for a step change. We're asking to adopt the program that the town paid to hire. They hired a contractor to do this, and they did, and these, these are the results. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, they may have a bite to them because there's a cost to them, but I, when you don't pay I, I, for the last and, few and, years. And to me, my, my, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, 
challenging to the report, Michael. What I'm I'm trying to understand is how how do you prevent this problem from becoming um, widespread again in the future? What, what so, problem is that, Tom? Uh, where where people fall behind? Um, to that. It falls it falls behind when when the when the document dies. That's yeah, and, and, and I and I guess what happens when the document dies. Do, 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 do sometimes, do sometimes, as a person that's been in a job for a long time, that their 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 job description changes over time as mm -hmm. they as they they start taking on more mm -hmm. functions, right? Mm -hmm. And and I that's what that's what I I guess that's what I'm saying. So so as a as as so, someone that may have started out is is basically someone that just answered the phone. And that that position changes over time to include a lot of different a lot of different things, and it's not and 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 that those changes are never documented in their their job description or however we you know however we change it however we change the title. I guess that's my that that's a concern, and and it's how, and it's how do we ensure that doesn't happen. In in the the future, you you bring important. it to the personnel board. Yeah, right. that's yeah. part of the That's part of our job. Charge. And so what we do you know, as a committee is we want to make sure that we are staying abreast of what the current market rate is by and find some kind of a mechanism we, we use, maybe in the survey, in talking to, to the other towns mm -hmm. and find out exactly what, you know, sometimes the job descriptions don't match from town to town. Like, so, right. Yeah, that's a problem for yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I, But that cannot be in and of itself a reason not to move forward to do what we have to do. Sometimes we have to guess guesstimate and find it because we cannot shortchange people because we don't we don't have exact ma matches for what the jobs are. Agree. Okay. You know, as long as we you know, if the jobs come come within so, so, so eighty five to ninety percent, I think that's there's no valuation to move forward. Because what happens is, if we shortchange people that much and people fall behind, eventually they retire or they leave. And when we go to fill that position, they will be surprised at what the person coming in is. Right, what they're looking for. Exactly, what they're looking right. for. Well, I, actually, I, Francis, unfortunately, I, I wouldn't be surprised because I know I know what it's try. I know what it's like to try to hire a chief of police or a highway superintendent right. or try to find an accountant. A municipal accountant. I, I, you can't find them, be and, and and it's not or or a collector treasurer. Try to find a, someone that has. We were lucky when we found Susan. Mm -hmm. We were exceptionally lucky. Mm -hmm. so. But I, I think, gentlemen, really, if you use your personnel board, when someone's job description changes, and if they come to you first, you send them to us. Right. We meet once a month. And probably and we've been meeting every other week when there's when the work so requires it. And I don't uh, I don't plan on sitting still. And and I told them to my committee members that I work with that I don't want to leave in April after town meeting and come back in November. That's not what I planned on doing when I got on board with this. This is a lot of work. It's a, this is a very good beginning. I don't always agree with everyone. I don't agree that we shouldn't have steps because I think steps are a good thing. It gives an employee a projection of where they can be if they have good performance evaluations. Steps in also. Hmm? Steps in. So someone's here for 15 years, there's not, there's not many steps that are beyond that. No, but then you go to a longevity thing. You give them a percent or a half percent or whatever, you, you know. There's, you want to reward someone for being here because with that experience, you have efficiency. Sure. You keep turning the you keep turning the positions over, and, and you don't have the efficiency. I mean, the, the town treasurer's position has been what we had five in the last six years. The treasurer? Four? No. No. no, Susan. Susan's been here about oh, seven years. Seven years, yeah. and before that, her before that was Herb, and Herb was here. There was for, someone between her and one person in briefly. Yeah. 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 So, yes. yes. So you had less. I, I apologize. I thought it was more. But, but the point I'm saying is, is that yeah. reward the people for staying because when they stay, they're efficient. 
And, and one of the big things is we're trying to get to a programmatic, we like programmatic systems. And one of the things that I've been, I'm still pushing the cog on too is, is to act as a repository of this information so we don't have to go, because maintaining that information going forwards is, is really important too. And having an easy way of getting what your comp towns are and stuff. And it's gonna be a challenge, but uh, that's something I'm really pushing them to, to do. So but the, take a look at the comp towns in the report. I mean, they're all fairly local. So any of us can grab a phone and chances are we know someone from those communities. Good point. And we can get that information. You know, initially we had Sheffield on board, we had Williamstown on board, and you know, I may see those communities once or twice a year. Yeah, we've got like Conway, Deerfield, Granby, Hadley, Hatfield, Leverett, Montague, Northfield, and Williamsburg now. Yeah, Williamsburg, not Williamstown. Yes. So, you know, yeah, it's, really not it's not going to be as difficult as trying to make a connection with Sheffield or Williamstown. And, sure. uh, and chances are, and, and again, when you're, when you're looking at the positions, as you said earlier, not every position has the same job requirement. Right. Some are different. And when they're local like that, it's not difficult to find out how similar or how different they are. Right, because other than geographic location, we could have picked a lot of towns on the Cape because, you know, we're really similar <laughs> to those guys, but they're not in the same labor market. Right. That's like always the, like that's the thing like, um, like Sheffield. For most things, it's similar, but it's yeah. not Yeah, Brimfield was in market. there too in the beginning. Yes. We pulled them yeah, out. Yeah, they're a little too far out. But no, that's, I look at this going forward as, again, work in progress, and I think the, the issues we've had in town in the past were the fact that, you know, previous reports have went away and, and CPR didn't bring them back. You know, it's just they died. Understood. Well, I know you, you know that uh, we have an election coming up and there's an override on there, so we can, I mean, we, we hope that you guys, the committee comes to town meeting, get past town meeting and understand, and we can put it in there, but if we don't have the money, um, I'm not, and, and I, I'll still have said that the town, the town office building still only were open a half day on Thursday and not open on Friday. Yeah, so so we don't, that. so we, so we've never recovered from the 2009 to whatever nine two thousand nine. That nine. So we we've never we've never brought the town, you know, the the town staff up, you know, back to having a full time op, town office. Mm -hmm. Now, revenue sources are important, and we don't have a lot here. But one thing we do have is we have a you know, fifteen thirty three tax rate. I thought was middle of the road. And it's not, it's in the huh. cellar. And the towns, four towns lower to us in the county, all generate electricity, either formally with nuclear right. or hydro generation. Exactly. We're the lowest town in the county that does not generate electricity. Understood. And, you know, not that I want to see a tax bill go up, but that's the price of civilized society. Understood. I mean, that's what you're going to sell. You're going to sell that our tax rate isn't, a, you know, out, up on the top. It's at the, it's at the cellar. We're in the, in the Franklin County region, we're the lowest tax rate in the, in the four towns. Yeah, like I, I got a chart We don't right have here. fire tax and, and, and stuff like that that sure. some of the communities we've been right. saying We've been saying that for a long time. Yep. Well, you, you've been, I haven't heard you say it. Uh, if you say yeah, it on TV, Elliot, <laughs> Elliot, Elliot, have we have we said Elliot, that, Elliot? Yeah. Yeah. If you say it on TV, I'll have to say I don't watch it. There you go. I, I know, and, but but people and, and Michael and and that's what and and I I remember a long I remember my own family owned owned property in Sunderland and and he, and he said I don't mind paying my Deerfield tax rate because it's so low, but Sunderland is very expensive. I said really, and I said so how much is your Water bill. Yep. How much is your um, fire. Uh, fire? You have a fire district pay. And I, and I said, now add all of that up, and what does it come to? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you mean? I says, well, we don't charge you those those other things. We don't we don't charge in the town. And then he added it up. Now he doesn't like paying his Deerfield taxes anymore well, because he now he figured out that Sunderland. So so I think it's a mis I I think it's miscommunicated. Or people see 
five and ten in Deerfield say, well, look at the businesses in that community. Okay, we, you know, they don't see that Sunderland has Delta Materials, that we have Allstate, and guess what? Guess what they pay? They pay excise tax, and we have we get a and and we are very lucky that the businesses that we have, like, like those are just two, they they have excise taxes they pay, and they 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 so our tax rate is, on the whole, and we said it before. One of the it is one of the lowest in Franklin County, mm -hmm. and if you compare if you compare to some of the things in Hampshire County, we stack up pretty well with all of Hampshire County as well. Yeah, I actually except have for a, Hadley. Well, I got a, I got a chart right here of all of the Franklin County towns and every town that physically borders us. So that's then it's twenty nine towns, and that we're at number twenty three on the list. And Deerfield. Is above us, and they have a higher tax rate in addition to all those other things you mentioned. The thing so. is, is that you know, like even in the state statewide, we're 169 out of 351 cities and towns. Pretty fair. Less yeah. than below half. Pretty fair. You know. and, and if you look, and if you look at what we have for debt load, what our debt load is right now. I, I mean, yeah. we we have what's got what is it? Is a less than two hundred thousand dollars. Less than two hundred thousand dollars on our debt. Many many towns Sorry. are way two, over that. Two two hundred and forty four thousand. You know, as far as a tax rate, Michael, unfortunately, you're you're preaching to the choir. But we we've never been yeah. able to get we've never been able to 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 get that through, the, and and to the people that pay the taxes. And, Again, I wasn't aware of it until I pulled the chart out myself. Sure. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that said, you April did. April 1st, I came here, I wrote the check, and, and I thought it was, you know, a lot of money, which it was, but at the same token, in comparison to other communities, I'm paying less. Sure. Well, we've had the same problem with the state, you know, calling us tax to choose it. And you look at the overall tax load, we fall usually, and, we've, and this has been this way for years, right in the middle of the pack of all 50 states. Because, you know, you go to, like, Connecticut, you're going to pay sales tax on all your grocery bills, every article of clothing you buy, not just ones over a certain dollar amount. And you go to New York State, you're going to pay state tax, county tax, sometimes city tax. And Jersey's like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, Cindy? Give this serious consideration, gentlemen. Yes, sir. And, and, uh, Cindy? I just want to remind folks, too, that way back when, when we had that override fail, you know, employees have continued to absorb extra responsibilities. Our jobs haven't stayed the same. Me, I didn't start as a telephone person because that's all I knew how to do. I had 17 years coming in before I took this job, but it worked for the time. But, you know, things have changed. Responsibilities have changed. Requirements have been changed by the state. We have no custodian person in the building. All that stuff is still getting done in a smaller amount of time, as well as money with the same amount of employees all along. So I just want to point that out, that you know everybody's doing a really good job with the little bit that we have, and we severely need more people in the town offices because the state requirements and everything else is certainly a lot greater than it was 19 years ago, which will be for me in August. <laughs> I, know. I, I just know there are not too many towns that have uh, three members of the highway department. Less than it was 40 years ago. They had four. I just know there's not an and, and amount of work that gets accomplished. Right. Is so. And, and, and again, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I, my, but my, my concern are more how do, how do you, um, how, how do you, we keep from getting into a problem in the future? And that, and, and I'll you, and you refer it to the personnel board. Yeah. And if we don't do our job, then you kick us in the butt because we got a job to do. Yeah. Well, all right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, personnel. Well, Richard, thank you. George. Good night, okay. everyone. Anything else? No, just all right. This. Good. Next up. Minutes of four eight. Motion on the minutes. I'll second. Which one is when we did the annual town meeting warrant review? We had the last of them, and that's when Scott Reed was in for the energy committee. Okay. Yeah. All those in favor of 4 8, signify by saying aye. Aye. 3 0. Um, 
Review annual town <coughs> meeting motions and FY20 budget recommendations. So, Elliot, do you guys want to talk about your budget recommendations first? The Finance Committee, are you prepared to talk about that? Are you, you mean in terms of the, uh, the motions? Or? Um, I, I would just have. They have these, and I emailed them. You haven't had a meeting to discuss this, right? We haven't had a single meeting to okay. discuss this, no. So, uh, I, I don't feel that we're ready to make okay. uh, full load of recommendations. I wanted mm -hmm. to listen to the articles. All right. All right, let's go through the articles then. Um, motions. The articles are already up. Yep, the motions. <clears throat> So, are we going to vote on Article Three tonight? Not without a number, you're not. We can't. Huh? Not without a number, you're not. Uh, I was going to say, then you have to go through this before you yes, talk you about do. Article Three. That's exactly right. <clears throat> well, we so to, to do the to do the cliff notes, right? Yeah. The budget that we have in front of us has the schools, elementary schools ask. That's the sheet that's dated four sixteen two nineteen. As the elementary schools ask, and two percent, that shows a two hundred and thirty-three thousand five hundred and forty-nine dollar deficit. That has to be over. You got two thirty-three five forty-nine in the red. Yeah, that's yep. with two percent. Yep. So you're if if let's just run this run this through. If an override passes, you have an additional two hundred thousand dollars. It's still a thirty-three thousand five hundred and forty-nine dollar deficit. If you add the personnel committee's recommendation the full the full boat of 46 138 you now have a seventy nine thousand six hundred and eighty seven dollar deficit so the question is what strategy do you take to close that gap if you chose to take the recommendation full on so, and then if an override does not pass and you take this recommendation you have a two hundred and seventy nine thousand six hundred and eighty seven dollar deficit that has to be filled and Peter, that's not going to come from the elementary school, is it? No. Yeah. I, know, I understand. And welcome back. How was the trip? Look at that tan. He's, look at that tan on here. <laughs> so again, let's, talk, let's just be practical about this ask and this budget. Well, well first, mm -hmm. before the, the numbers, the revenue, are, the, are the, the use of free cash, is that in line with the recommendation, the policy? Yes. Well, oh yeah, okay. I mean, we're still, we're still dropping stabilization down to 10. What's that? We're still dropping stabilization down to 10, which is not, right. that's not a it position would we would like to be in by any means. That's the but. formula, though. It's ten percent for stabilization, thirty for oh for capital, capital. stabilization. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, it is, had, that is the formula. Yeah. And these, I think, actually included the because of the personnel thing. The total was forty six thousand. This should already factor in the ten thousand for the cola, right? Yes, the cola. It just didn't in factor there. in, so the right. actual yeah, yeah. bump up should be like thirty. It's thirty five. Yeah. yeah, it's thirty five. Yeah, but still, it's You're right. right. So I'd be just to make sure my number's right. Hey, numbers. Two, three, three. So, Sherry, did, did you uh, did you include what free cash stabilization would be left if you put those numbers in? If you um, use these numbers. Two sure. six nine. Um, after all the town meeting articles, the balance in the free cash would be ninety-seven thousand three twenty-four. Going forward? Going forward. Yep. 97324 Um In stabilization, we have 622258 uh, Zero in Title V. That's kind of a wash anyway. There will be 88701 in capital stabilization after um, the recommendations that the Capital Planning Committee put forth. And in the PEG uh, account, there will be the Comcast, $28,251. CPA funds, I don't have that number from Brian yet. I'll get that tomorrow, but um, I think there's plenty there. Wastewater, uh, 291101 
balance. Does the ninety-seven thousand going forward with from free cash? Does that include? That doesn't include the thirty-seven seven twenty-eight additional from the uh, from the uh, personnel personnel committee. Correct. Okay. Ellie, does that help you with some of the rough numbers? Well, they're not, I mean. The total cash reserves closing balance is 719,582. Which is 9.1%. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Terry? In the uh, in the free cash use, these are all supporting the articles as well, right? Yes, I plugged in the numbers from the articles. The snow and ice deficit is there. Yep. Thank you. I mean, the number that we had suggested at two fifty was. It doesn't sound like even that is, would have been enough to cover this, which is frustrating. I don't know. We just. Um, so what's the alternative cash. to paying for all the fire? It seems like it. I mean, some. Yeah. I'd be up for that. The estimates are conservative. Uh, I mean, There's a little wiggle room there. But not, not a quarter of a million dollars. No. <laughs> no. Okay. no. It's just not a quarter of a million dollars hanging around. We work far worse shape. It's a little more than a wiggle. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the house numbers around now, too. It doesn't seem like we have too many other you know, options. This hand just because up and then that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right. didn't, the, we didn't you know, the, gain a lot gain, that yeah. way. The override is set at 200, so we yeah, can't. Because those are the cherry sheets. No, today. it's at 200. Yeah, yeah I sent yeah. them around. So that's where, that's where it's They're pretty it's really close to the governor's numbers. Strong. Yeah. In terms of that, so probably really they'd stick with the governor's numbers as opposed to the house until... So then we'd have to be taking it from free cash, basically. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, nothing else. I mean, it doesn't seem like we have too many options. I mean, we've already mm -hmm. we've already gone. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a, a quorum to make an official vote okay. recommendation. Okay. But I mean, you can you can let us know what your know. thoughts yeah. are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems that that going to free cash is going to really be. There's an option I can see. Yeah. I mean, as, as far as the way I'm looking at it is this is a correction for FY09, which was after the 08 collapse. And that was before we set this formula to keep the town on track going forward. So as, as long as this is a correction for FY09 and the trouble that started then, I think it's, it's fair enough to dip. To dip below. Yeah, to dip below. Um, and then you know, get back on that path of correction because that's how we end up in this position where we can start to look at these things again is because we've been following that formula. That's fair. Right, and we've been trying to do it over the past, you know, 10 years or whatever, trying to slowly get back. Like we were saying earlier, we still don't have town hall opened even. Yeah. You know. And we're still, I mean, even with the higher salary adjustment, then anybody who's getting that adjustment isn't getting a COLA effectively this year. So... This is still not getting us fully back on track. Everyone gets cola. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anybody yeah. that's above the minimum gets, gets cola. Gets cola. Yeah, but if you're getting adjusted up, because the the report used this year's numbers, so anybody, so basically, if yeah, if you're comparing again, to another town, yeah. say in that sense, like yeah. you're saying, yeah, because we don't have their new numbers, right? Yeah, so they'll be getting more than if they had gotten under cola, but they're not getting that right. cola. Yeah. 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 That's your point. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of you're always kind of chasing each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So to, to, to be clear in the finance uh, discussion, even just beyond the, the uh, concept of not keeping up and et cetera, just since 2015, our budget increase is, of, is over $1,612,000. <coughs> 
So again, I think that's really important to bear in mind from cost, cost containment, revenue, revenue streams, and the amount that the town and the taxpayers are paying for goods and services in town just in a four-year window of $1.612 million. The irritation is is that the revenue streams are... Yeah, well, it's yeah. finite. Yeah, it's They're kind of finite. finite. Yep. I completely understand that, but I think it's important to keep in context that, you know, it's 45000 this year. Last year, we had a half a million dollar increase in the expense budget. This year, we're talking about a half a million dollar increase in the expense budget. We raise $118,000 of additional revenues every year. Those, those starting points, though, are artificially low. If you look back at... Sure, I understand the trend line. Yep. Yeah. I, I get that. So again, the, the offset, we could go back to the beginning of time and, and chase it back that far. But the reality is we have clear, clearly had expense growth since 2009. And we've matched that expense growth with revenues and including an override, and now a second override. It would be hard to go to the taxpayers another time and say, listen, it's just another million bucks over the last three years. Well, I, I feel that that has to be right right now. That has to be our, our, our recommendation yeah. to be able to. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Well, uh, you know, Scott. That I mean, those are those are good points. But you you you've seen this budget. Where would you where would you change anything? Uh, we'd have to get, have come from the elementary school. It wouldn't have. Absolutely. It wouldn't be three hundred fifty thousand dollar ask. It'd be a two hundred fifty four thousand dollar ask, which they presented and didn't recommend. And rightly so. We understand why. But that's where the only spot it can come from. Can't come from the frontier assessment. Cannot come from the tech assessment. Can't come from the waste treatment plant. Can't come from debt. That we can cut. We can cut hours again. We can. We can cut hours and increase salary. I mean, th that's the frustration. Is right. that there are so many areas. All the areas of the town, except for the schools, right. are at bare bones. We're we're so close right. on so many things, yeah. and when you know state aid is going back and forth such a weird seesaw too you think well that's that's the pic piece of the picture too that, that kind of gets forgotten sometimes <clears throat> the, the state input to it has gone down over time and so we are end up picking up that slack so meanwhile it's still a hard sell to right. it to is everyone yeah. in the town to be, yep. to be trying to present this yep. and the question becomes you know what do we do about it from a from a an interest, an interest to doing the right thing perspective. And, and you know, actually, too, one of the things that we haven't even talked about tonight is all the money that we've been saving. We mentioned it before, but not just specifically not tonight, all the money we've been saving with all the energy things yeah. that we've been doing. Because our, that's, our insurance moved two years ago, yeah, which exactly. didn't go up this year. Right. And then the phone, you know, savings on mm -hmm. phone. So we've saved a lot of money that otherwise we would have been paying out mm -hmm. through a lot of cost savings measures that we've been trying to do. And that's just part of, you know, what you do. But that's helped a lot, too. Good point, David. That kind of gets lost in the shuffle just because it's savings. So you don't see that, you know, we would have been paying X amount more every year for electricity, energy costs, and stuff. So Mr. Chair, can we can we skip the, the money lines tonight and go through the remaining motions? Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a resolution to this tonight. We're not going to have okay. We're not yeah. Be able to. So we'll be to right? I mean, yeah. I think. I mean, what are you going to look at the motions? I mean, I think we covered. I mean, there, I mean, the, the the big ones are the money issues. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And you're not going to vote on Article Three. Right. right? And, and if you don't vote on Article Three, it it. I mean, everything is just a, so we'll go through the motions. We, we, no pun intended. That was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we I was waiting for somebody to say that. We've, we've already done one, two. Yeah. Um, usually we don't, we don't put a recommendation on, on two for the salary. Three, we can't do. Article four, transfer 58,576 from free cash to stabilization. I, I don't know if we've done the motions yet. We've done the warrant, but not the motions. Right. <clears throat> right. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you just, just, you just put a plug in the numbers in. I get you're, it. You're, you're only looking at our, I mean, we made recommendate. we've already made recommendations we've, we've on almost everything. Yep. Right. Right? Did that I last time. Article, uh, article 4, did we make a be recommendation on Article like 4? Before the, the BOS. Uh, Sherry? 
Again, not and, on the motion. On, on the warrants. On the warrants to include yeah. them. Right. But not, we, we didn't we've made, plug in but we made, six. We've made, select, we made recommendations on a lot of these. On the warrants. Right. The warrants complete. Sorry. Is there enough time? There were no numbers in the warrant. Mm -hmm. Co correct. Right. So I'm, I'm only looking at the I number articles right it. now. No. We can't, there are no money numbers on number one, article two, yep. we never make a recommendation on elected members' okay. salary. You're not going to do anything on number three. Sure. That's the budget. You can't. So the first one we go to article four. four. And that's your formula. I just took the I, 10, right. 30, and, 30. And, 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 okay. and I'm going to say, how, what, how can we transfer any money from free cash to stabilization right. if you end up with $90,000? So would you table or pass over? Or I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to offer recommendation. All right. Monday. Article four: Move the town vote to transfer fifty-eight thousand five seventy-six from free cash to stabilization. Mm -hmm. Motion. Uh, motion for discussion. Yeah, absolutely. Second. Okay. Motion made. And second to discuss. So since we're not going to move free cash around, how can you support that article, right? If your if Tom, if, if your point is to drive down in a budget article tonight, let's do it. Let's just really roll our sleeves up and get after it. Right. Fine. You got it. Right. I think sure. we can't keep putting it off. Uh, like. So, but we can do. We can go out of. I. 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 Is there more any? How how can you transfer the money from free cash to stabilization? You can't do it. Okay. I withdraw the motion. No, you can. No, you can put it there. We can vote yes or no on that. Gentlemen. Was there a second? There was a second for discussion. Yeah. But but I'm going to say how can how can you how can you as it as it was right now you you we ended up with we're going to end up with ninety thousand dollars on this although this thing's closing balance is nineteen thousand. Yeah, you got a hundred here. It's one hundred nineteen. Right. Okay. So. It, it should be a quarter of a million dollars moving forward. Huh? It should be almost a quarter of a million dollars moving it forward. It should be, right. But, how, but how, I mean, how do you transfer, I, I mean, how, they, I, do we transfer free money from free cash or stabilization? No, not this year. Not with the numbers the way they look at. I mean. You know, and, and I would say, and I, I would say it would be hard to do that. Especially, how, especially when you got a we got an override question coming mm -hmm. up, that, and if that fails, we may need every dollar. Mm -hmm. The school, the, we we have no idea what the school's going to recommend mm -hmm. in, on their on their next budget. Mm -hmm. The school could tell the school the school can come back and say we still want the three hundred and fifty thousand dollars or three three forty four three fifty four one fourteen. Are you right. saying in, in the event that an override fails, mm -hmm. that they yeah. would? I, I had the impression that they, if the override fails, that they were proposing the red sheet, to drastic cuts. Well, we don't know for sure. That's true. I would say I would say, with an override cu question coming up, I personally I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And we can always we always can transfer free cash in the fall time. It's gone after June thirtieth. Right. Yeah. As soon as soon as our July soon as our uh, certification. Uh, schedules and everything is is yeah, done. Yeah, we can yeah, do we a can special transfer. town meeting in May or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Do it then. Yeah. But so we know what's going to happen with the override. Mm -hmm. But you don't until you know what your happened override. How do you how do you transfer free cash to stabilization? That's true. I mean, it's, it it makes sense to do. If you know, if you have, if you have monies available, we don't have monies available. We have to kind of hold off on that. So, Article Four, we have a motion made and seconded to discuss. So, this is, I guess, we're looking for a selectman recommendation right now. Uh, I'll vote no. Yeah. No. I got no. Mm -hmm. 03. Article 5. Move the town vote to transfer 175 728 from free cash to the stabilization fund. Uh, that number should be modified based on the Capital Improvement Committee's recommendation. It won't be that number. You want to just off, offhand? I'd have to look. For the capital? Yeah, so we raise 
You raise 113, 141. Mm -hmm. So are you looking just for the balance, not? Just the balance of the recommendation. Okay, yep. the recommendation is 200,000, 188. 168. 168, sorry. No glasses. <laughs> 200, even in the 168? So that would be the use of free cash of $87,027 for Article 5. $87,027. $87, okay. That would support the Capital Committee's recommendation. Okay, the formula usually calls for the 30%, so Correct. that's what I, I just. No, no, I completely, yeah, completely, completely, for talking completely, points. Yeah, completely understand. Okay. Here we go, skidding off the runway without using the formulas again. I, and, and again, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't make the numbers that we have. Mm -hmm. That would leave uh, an additional 88701 in, in free cash. So what did that get you up to now? I haven't got that far yet. Okay. So again, if you're going to support the capital, the capital stabilization request from departments we would need to transfer from free cash 87027 and raise which we already raise yep. the 113141 that would support the requests that were recommended okay okay do you have a motion uh, move to town transfer 87027 from free cash to capital stabilization and support of the capital budget second I have a motion made and second for 87027 from free cash to capital stabilization. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Article six. This is the capital budget at 200,168. That's one you're talking about? Uh -huh. It uses the 113 and the 8702, and that's a budget that can be presented. Okay. Move to recommend the article six. Second. I have a motion made and second to recommend Article 6. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. 3 0. Article 7. That's actually, we're not moving, that's just to create. Correct. No, we have. We have the funds in place and the. Um, and we've already recommended this. Yep. Yep. Okay. You've already recommended oh, yeah, Article right. 8. CPC yeah. has been all the way through. Yeah. You recommended Article 9, mm -hmm. Article 10, 10. 11. 11. Did we do 11? Not yet. We didn't yeah. have the number. Which, uh, for Article 11, yeah. Right. All right, so move the town vote to transfer $8,420.14 from free cash to fund FY19 snow and ice debt. Uh, motion. Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Article 12, we already made a recommendation on. That was a 13-342 for the, uh, mm -hmm. yep. the retirement costs. Yep. Hmm. This is a new Article 13. We just received it last Monday. So what this article does, Mr. Chair, is it authorizes, it, it lets town meeting participate in the authorization to allow the Frontier Regional District School Committee to incur debt. And there's no plan, there's no number for 2020. There may not even be one for 2021, but the statute requires either no action within 60 days of notification or action by the board if the board chooses, it can go to town meeting. And okay. so we're all synced into going to town so, meeting. So are they going to make a presentation on this? There won't be any number values. They'll be okay. they'll be what the project are over a decade. Again, this is an authorization to borrow. This okay. is the only vote. I just want to call your attention to the highlighted language, mm -hmm. too, because I don't know if you want that in there or not. It's about a... Dead yeah, there are... There are a some couple. towns are. And, yep. You know, so. so the... the Regional school district is planning on coming to with a with a capital assessment through the through the district agreement. 
based on percentages. Some of the towns are putting this sentence in there saying that it's only going to be allowed if it's a contingent on a debt exclusion. Interesting. Mm. It certainly raises the bar. So now, we don't have to have all the town voting on the same day, do we? <laughs> no. no we tried that before. <laughs> no, but for debt, whether it's excluded or not, yeah. it, it, it is unanimous because it's debt. It's got to be unanimous. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. The board should the board should get together and talk about that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so again, the author the authorization to borrow. Yeah. If there's no action taken, it it simply it happens. Right. It's just sort of a. But it makes sense. Thing. Why, wouldn't you, why, why oh. wouldn't you do it? You would absolutely do it. it yeah. makes, it, that makes good sense. That's good fiscal sense. That's, mm -hmm. It's a fiscally smart move. All right. I, I would, if I could, Mr. Chair, recommend that we do not include this debt exclusion component. Right? Because if, if... What happens if three towns do and one town does it? Doesn't matter. You're, just getting, you're still getting an assessment. It would just be like the we just did one for Franklin Tech. It's included in the operating budget. Right. Except yeah, we'll, we'll take it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we had. We first put it on. We didn't have that anyways, right? No, this is a suggestion of a neighboring community or language of a neighboring community. Okay. Council drafted the article, yeah. so you could go either way. Yeah. Article fourteen is not a money article. Uh, do we want to? Do we want to? In, include 13 without the language? And if so, do you want to vote? Because this yeah. is new. Yeah, I'll make a motion to include without the language. This is new this week. All right. We got a new Article 13. So we got to make a motion to include this article. Mm -hmm. Right. Include the motion. Yeah. All right. Motion to include. So moved. Do you want a second? To include. To include. Yeah. Oh, I made the motion to include. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, without so that, made, without that language. To include all of the paper signified by saying <laughs> aye. aye. Recommendation. Uh, Move to recommend. Second. Motion made and seconded to recommend. All those in favor signified by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Article 14 yeah. is not a money. Article 15. That's the petition, the planning board. right? Yep. Article 17. Citizens petition. Citizens petition. That we recommend it. Article 18. Capital Improvement Committee language changes in language the adopted bylaw. Article 19. Citizens petition. Article 20. It's a recommendation on the Eminent domains and easements. And then we go into the consent articles. Right. Yeah. We did those. So now we go back to Article 3. Yeah. I'm a quick ask uh, what your votes were uh, on Article 8 and 9. Eight and nine. Those were both 3 L's, what I would guess. But, uh, eight, 8 and 9? Article 8 and Article 9. CPA? Yeah. Yep. There were, yes. Those yeah. were. Yes. I vote 3 L. So Article 8 is from the CPA to, uh, to purchase uh, the APR mm -hmm. on a piece of property out in North Sunderland. And Article 9 is... It's the regular. ...is what the state says we have to take. We have to go so much a certain percentage of each of those into reserves. So if we're not spending on housing or resident, those are the minimum numbers that we have to pay. So, all right, you want to talk about budget now? Perfect. So, so let's first talk. Michael, any questions? Not so far. Uh, <laughs> this thing. So, do we want to do we want to talk about this? Sure. Okay. This, Dave, you're the rep. What do you think? Yeah, it, at some point we got to bite the bullet and do it because otherwise we just keep drifting farther and farther behind. 
you know, I, I, we sat down and went over all this stuff, and you know, it's in line with what we've been trying to do over time. You know, I mean, it's not. It, it's like that last feather on top of the camel's back at this point. That's kind of you know. I mean, when you look at the number, isn't in a vacuum seems fine, but it's just when you add. But then when you look at it in the big scope of things, it's just like one more thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, and we're, we're we're just trying to bring ourselves up to the minimum of you know our comp towns and try and you know we're really trying to get a nice formulaic thing that we can look at. Okay, so where where do where do we where do we reduce the expenses elsewhere to accommodate this? Because if this if this goes in with a vote contingent on an override and override yeah, fails, take something, something out. comes out. Yep. Right? We can't take it from available free cash if we burn through it all, getting to the point where we still have need support from an override. Yep. So even if we even if we didn't have the schools ask at the three and change, even if we had their two fifty four ask, uh, we would still be like really close to equal. Yeah. If the override passes, right. So all this is predicated on an additional two hundred thousand dollars that is not in any of these sheets. It doesn't exist in any of these spaces. It doesn't exist in this space. It doesn't exist in this space. We can't print it. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. He's working with Kim Jong Un on the lost plates. I don't know how Treasury would feel about that, but you know, sure he's taking engraving class. <laughs> <laughs> Detailed engraving. I like it. Uh, and the producing of holograms on money. Uh, does this what do we do in the selectman's office on off hours? Yeah. Yeah. Why are those lights always on? <laughs> exactly right. Right here. Get those little green visors on. Yeah. Um, what about any savings that we had from the collector treasurer? There, are, there are some savings there. I don't know what the number is, but we could put that towards it. It's about ten thousand dollars there. Well, that gets us down because we're looking at that. We're looking at an increase of thirty-five seven twenty-eight. So that gets us down to like. 25 or so. So if, if we were to back out, if we were to back out the capital piece, right, and the 58,000 piece to stabilization, I've got, is there a three second delay on that thing so I could swear? <laughs> No. Damn it. So so if we're gonna go absolutely hog wild, right? The the most the most you could possibly apply out of three cash would be three twenty three zero zero five. And that would be no move to stabilization, only the ask for capital stabilization, leaving a balance of zero, leaving a balance of now basically a hundred and nineteen thousand, which is about a hundred thousand dollars less than we want to move forward into the upcoming year. And then this becomes our new baseline for next year. Yeah. Right. That's the other side of it. So again, you have a sec you're talking about the second year in a row of nearly a half a million dollars of expense growth, predicated on about a hundred and eighty six thousand dollars of revenue growth for our second year. Last year we used about two hundred and seventy thousand dollars of free cash. This year here we're talking about three hundred thousand dollars of free cash, and you're almost balanced with an override. I don't see how you can support it. We can barely get by with what the schools ask is, and that's predicated on an override. I don't, they just don't add up. I'm sorry. I'm not a heartless grouch, but they just don't add up. Bag of money, anybody? Anybody? Bag of money? So what does I mean? What does this look like going forward? I mean, if if the override doesn't pass, does the override it, doesn't pass. The school is going to take a hit right away. The big hit, right. because absolutely right. 
And they know it, their eyes wide open, you know, the school committee and the administration know it. And that will reach down, that will reach down right now, again, so there's the, that will reach down into uh, our, the capital, excuse me, that will reach down into the operating expense side on the town side as well. We're so close. How much of this is just predicated on postponed capital that we've, we've just waited on? No, this is, this is a $254,000 revenue shift from the elementary school, hands down. And it, it's not, there's no villains, there's no persecutors, there's no rescuers. It's the use of school choice and shifting that choice to the town. That's, 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 the, that's where the gap comes from. And, and, and Scott, you said a couple times about the, the increase, the two-year increase. Now, when, when I just look, and again, when I look at general government, or what do you call total general government, out of that four, four hundred and something eighty thousand dollars, there's forty two hundred dollars out of general government. Yeah. I look at protection, and that's police, fire, town inspectors, and others. The change from last year is $23,000. So, so right there, so that's eight, 18, and so that's $1.4 million. We have about $27,000 increase, mm -hmm. right? Then you got highway, health, sanitation, that are, that are up about 25, 26, $8,000. Libraries up $2,500. That's sure not a big number. It's insurance and schools are these huge drivers. Um, right. Those are ele big. Elementary is 352.14. Total education is 339.258. And that includes um, two less students at um, the tech. Franklin Tech. Yeah, right. Thank God. So. I mean, even, even on our good plan, on our the great switch, which, which saved us money on, on Maya, it's still, we're having 10% increase in our insurance. Yep. That's, a, that's a, actually a place, that's actually a placeholder, not a premium, uh, not a premium change, Elliot. That's in the event someone comes in mid-year yeah, and- Yeah, we have two. You, you, have, you have to have something in there for enrollment. Right. Yeah. So, so, the, the, so that's not nearly as bad as yeah. it feels. Yeah, it's not, not a premium increase. That's an important point to keep out in front of everybody. But if you don't have it and you're on a deficit mid-year, you've got to find a way to fund it. So why, why I mention that, Scott, you, you I, don't, I don't have a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. um, when, when I joined the board, it seemed that that crystal ball went missing. <laughs> um, that the, along with the, the commissioner's badge, the commissioner's <laughs> badges went missing at that time, which was a, a good thing. Um, you yeah, never got one, did you, Michael? No. Okay. Good so I, did, I didn't have the crystal ball. I didn't have the badge. <laughs> um, we don't need no stinking badges. But so. here you go. But looking at the budget, I mean, you have to go back to the elementary school budget. And understand why the increase is there. Yeah, and 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 it's not because of their their expense side. Correct. It's it's a revenue side, yeah. right, Peter? Yeah. That that's a. Now, w what does that mean? It it means that there's there's x amount of funds that the school generates from some tax dollars. Well, it's all tax dollars, which just depends on who's, who's, where the money's mm -hmm. coming from. Um, and, and, and those resources are no longer 
no longer there, right? So, so this year, there's a fundamental fundamental shift from that we used to be an internal school budget revenue that's being shifted to the town. I think it's a one-time expense. Oh. Right. We would hope. So it's a, and, and we have we have to somehow we have to we have to address that. Mm -hmm. I I and and that's why I I am not um you 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 learn you learn certain things when you sit in the chair up here and everybody knows your opinion and 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 I was I was I, I learned that that when you say something that you gotta suck it up and so so we have to go for another override this year and and and, and so what you made a promise to the town it promises don't mean anything. Right. Well on right. the national level they may not matter right. Right. but on a local level they they do matter because I I but when I look when I look at the numbers, I didn't know I didn't know that the school was coming to us with a, this fundamental shift. I don't I'm not happy, um, but at the same time I am happy because I believe well, I now there's say. a better there's a better communication and understanding from school committee members and superintendents and principals about how where that money's come from. Right, and it and it does set us up. In the school budget, from a fiscal, it sets it up a little more fiscally responsible, so that we're not running ongoing, you know, costs. It removes the with the choice exactly, so that it at should. least, right, it makes it a little more stable. And mm -hmm. and, and one of the number because we just love to crunch numbers and spreadsheets here, you know, like one of the things that I was looking at to be fair too is is I did this going back to FY07, the mean increase in the elementary school budget was 2.80 percent over from FY07 through sure. the projected FY20. That so, means worth. Yeah, and, and the, you know, we know over, what was it, FY17 there was that big spike. Mm -hmm. um, and then they've dropped down a little bit. Uh, but those were so, cost increases too. Right, right. And, yeah. and, 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 and so, so, so knowing that, I, I have to be Pragmatic and, and say I, I understand I understand what's happening I understand why not happy about it um, but I, I I I can understand it so I would Michael said something earlier that and Mike Michael um, been a member of the community for a long time and and he said well I never knew that we were at the you know fifth or sixth, oh, we mentioned that a lot yeah. over the years. And 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 I would say, and 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 he said he never heard that had never heard it. I know I said it a million times. Oh yeah. Um, I think Michael, you probably said when you were on the board uh, of those taxes at that time also. So I know, but uh, that that being said. Um, you you so when somebody's taxes go up, uh, it's it's something they see in their pocketbook right away. So you may have been saying it, I may have been saying it, everybody could have been saying it, but if that person when he sees that tax dollars comes out of his pocketbook, it, it affects them. That that's why that's why it's such a personal decision. I I think so. mm -hmm. the cost costs fiscally fiscally when you look at the budget. I think we have a fiscal sound budget. I think this is. I think there's a concern with the, how the revenue is generated this year. Sure. I so, and somehow we have to we have to address that. Well, you're either going to go to one of two places. You're going to look at local receipts, or you're going to use more free cash. And either way, you're going to drive up the potential for free cash next year, or I mean, you're gonna reduce the potential for free cash next year by, right. by messing around with local receipts and hopefully, you know, something bad doesn't happen. 
or you're going to use more free cash, which clearly jeopardizes next year's free cash. It just does. You can think about the last time we went forward with $120,000 in free cash moving forward. And it was a decade ago. Yeah, but the one, one thing is I, I know there, there, there's, a, there's a payment that's been paid yep. that won't get used yep. Yep. this year. Understand that'll come to that, and that and that payment's two hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -hmm. So, so you that's you know, so you know that that's replenishing free cash next year. The the one permit of that size we've had in the last twenty five years, and we're, we can count on it. But I hear you. But but it'll be there. I understand. And, and we and we also know that there's a a twenty seven million dollar. I understand that too. Project that's going in, and that twenty seven million dollar project is taxed at. Fifteen dollars and thirty-three yeah. cents a thousand, mm -hmm. so that's that increase four hundred thousand dollars. I think. Yep. You know, somewhere in there. Yeah. Don't feel me now, Matt. Right. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in there. Somewhere in there. So, so I, I, I do know. So we have, we have to get, we, we, we have to, we have to get through this year. If we get yeah. through this year. I think things, things will. Sure. Right. The only have, we'll have a more stable. We'll have a more stable elementary budget. Right. Um, and, and, and the expenses, our expense line have, has remained constant. I, I mean, I don't see, you know, when I look at the, the increases, mm -hmm. I don't see, I don't see. The total, the total general government is $127,000. That's it. I know. I know, Scott. I think. All right. So, that being said. <laughs> this is the rock, paper, scissors part of the discussion, yeah. right? It's like rock, paper, scissors, it all hurts. I mean, we can't, w w it's clearly going to be less painful to, we can, it's a poorer idea, in my opinion, to be gambling. And mm -hmm. don't mess around with this, it's obviously. But I think our people, our citizens need to do a better job of lobbying to, lobbying to Boston on behalf of our education. It's just Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's a whole other That's a different that's right. an entirely different can of right. worms. Right. But but you're right. That that's it's just like and hopefully our new legislators are, you know and it's they actually, seem to be aware of it. But it's actually today's Boston Globe had a great article about Ed and Ed funding. So. Oh did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems but the state can bend over backwards trying to lure Amazon to Boston, but taking care of the people that already live here. Sure. Yeah, you have to that foundation formula. It's, that's the one that that's the nut. Um, so so, and I, I would say about earl, earlier about mm -hmm. I, I would say that in, in my opinion, and probably the Mr. Moderator is not going to like to hear this. I see us with a second uh, meeting after the town after the town meeting. You have one regard if it fails, you have one regardless. Or, or if it passes, <laughs> or if it passes, you have a right you have to like go over. Mm -hmm. And, and if it passes, and you go back and you restore and you restore some of the the the, the money, go back to our formula and, and try to re 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 like adjust. Re yeah, you would just adjust the use of free cash into right. those right. reserves again. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand. And, what and you're you saying. have and you have to. Mm -hmm. But but right now, I, I I don't I I just think it would it, I don't think it's good government if we go if we we put all this money there, then and if it you. It, it's one, six, six or 12 or whatever. It, it, I mean, you're going to have to probably have, no matter if it passes or fails, you're going to have to have a second mm -hmm. town meeting. My, my preference is not, not to, to change our, our fund, our, the way we fund, fund our free cash or user's life free cash, mm -hmm. but I don't think it, I can, I think I want every option available. Well, if right that's now. the case, I mean, if we don't make any moves on the motions that we've already taken, you have you have the option of up to, it's just south of three hundred and twenty thousand, just north of three hundred twenty thousand dollars of available free cash. Right. But you know, <laughs> that along with an override, you know, will get us back to being able to move things around. If if an override doesn't pass, regardless, you're going back to revisit the budget. Then the question, right. then it's all then it's all pressure all the time. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so what's your expense line? What are you putting forward, Tom? Wow, I haven't looked at that. <laughs> okay. So if we were to add the request, which is tonight's grand grand hoo ha, of an additional thirty five seven twenty eight, right? Uh, 40, 
46, 138. No, the 10 yeah. well, no. The 2% yeah. is already in, in baked right. in the budget. Got it. Oh, that's the call. Yeah, yeah just the 35, 720 yeah. is added. I think we need to vote on that. I understand. I was, in, I was in budget mode. Yep. I have one. I'll, I'll make a motion to include. Dave is making a motion to include the uh, additional funding for salaries. Stick my neck up. I'll second. <laughs> I'll second. All those in yeah. favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. So now we get the Christmas list. We got to go get some money. Right. Right. There's, a, there's no other so surprises good. in the budget? There's no other surprises. Good. Elliot, what's the new grand total? Uh, Increase it by 35,728. I can only punch so fast. <laughs> I don't like Dana Cannon with the adding machine. Yeah. He could talk with a cup of coffee and still be you know, yeah, looking how at you. do that? And, like, <laughs> and here's your slip. Like, well, ah, a better keyboard. That, it's that hard to. Machine. Yeah, it's hard to do on a flat piece of glass. 8556363. Yep. Three five seven twenty eight. What do you got for big number? Eight five six five three five. six three. Nice. No change, huh? Yeah, that's 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 the raw <laughs> number. It'll, it'll, it'll move forward, and yeah. we'll be will be well we'll be we'll be over half a million dollar increases for the second year in a row. It'll be awesome. Okay. Well, that was easy. All right, so you got your number? Mm hmm. All right, so. So our gap now will be 269277. That's the magic number. If an override passes, we still got to scratch out 69277 from somewhere. Uh, move Article Three with a with value of being eight five. Two, 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 two. Oh, okay. 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 Back to my sheet again. Eight million five hundred sixty-five thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars. Okay. And again, this is contingent. Right. You gotta have, you gotta have the bottom line contingent. number. The rest of it's contingent. So. Yep. Well, if we fire the highway super, that would get us 61. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Those are shells on the roads. That's what I was going to yeah. I want to bring back snow drums and horse-drawn carriages. <laughs> there you, right? go. So you, want, you want to change that free cash number, Scott? Uh, you know, we're going in. Yeah. It's just, it's right now it says 208670. Do you have to change that? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Gotta add the thirty. Uh, we have to add the thirty-five seven two eight to it. Bump it up by that amount. Mm -hmm. Someone make adding machine sounds. And just ask Siri to add it up. <laughs> yeah, right. And it's gonna be oh, plus. So we'll have to get a plus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Five, seven, two, eight. I can only imagine what the so budget the, the would look like. So the new use of free cash number would be two four four three nine eight. Okay. All right, and you get to you gave us a sum total. That's in there. Eight, I just did this. Eight million five hundred and sixty-five thousand three hundred and sixty-three dollars. Bingo. Yep. All right. So moved. Second. Now this this allows us next week to be able to talk about this. Uh -huh. Right. Yep. Now we, then then we get to look at all the numbers. There's okay. only one number to look at. It's two hundred thousand or else. Don't have. Right. But I hear you. Right. Yeah. I get it. But. Yeah. I just ask. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, Mr. Moggler. Just because I've been quiet for so long. <laughs> um, <laughs> not in your meeting. Yet, but <laughs> uh, so I'm looking at capital recommendations, mm -hmm. which are two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and wondering about. And clearly, there's some. There's an urgency to some of this. Mm -hmm. There's an urgency to all of it. Actually, it's a hundred and thirty thousand dollars less of what was requested. 
and we're using one hundred thirteen thousand one hundred forty-one dollars of raised. So he's got it. Yeah, you you got the final thing. Yeah. Okay. Hot off the press. The original yeah. was what? Do you have the recommendation yeah. from the yeah. capital? The original. Yeah. 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 The original. The original yeah. ask was like in the in the well over the three fifty right now. Yeah. Okay. It's right here. If you want to see it, make it. That's the original. Yeah, that's the original. All right. So we have, for Article 3, we have an amended motion, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the totals will read from free cash. I'll move the town, vote to raise and appropriate sum of 7, 8, this number does not change, 7, 8, no, that number 7, 4, 4, 1, 2, appropriate from fund peg access, 53, fund treatment plant, 388, 492, appropriate from... Town Fund Title Five Five Zero Six Three and appropriate from free cash uh, two hundred forty four thousand three hundred ninety eight dollars for the sum of eight million five hundred and sixty five thousand three hundred and sixty three dollars for the budget. Right. Fair motion. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. Oh, it's a lot of free cash and a lot yeah. of, you know. And it still has a credit that's still um, contingent. That's an important to bear in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, motion made and seconded for Article 3. All those in favor, recommendation signified by saying aye. 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 And it's all contingent upon the 200000 for the Prop 2 and a half. Anything more on that one? Yeah. You want to do your uh, capital recommendation now? I thought we had that already. Let's see. Let's see. I didn't bring my data sheet in, but I can. Hang on. I think you have it in your phone. I didn't do my own printed Here we go. Um, maybe. I don't have the, the sheet that I sent this morning that has the yeas and the nays. Okay. I can, I can work on it. Yeah. My capital book's in my truck. If you give me a minute, I'll go get it. Well, that's what you voted. I just didn't. The votes are over here. They didn't print out. Oh, these are yeah. the others were moved. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. It looks just like the last one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Mr. Chair. So, of the the requests, the capital for the fire department exhaust system and the physical physical was removed. Uh, the capital planning committee for all of these um, asks, um, if they're not included, were tabled. And the capital planning capital improvement committee's position was, you know, the department heads oftentimes ask over multiple years. And some of the asks can be centered around policy decisions that are not in the Capital Improvement Committee's wheelhouse. That's not what we do. So instead of voting no, which sends a message, we vote to table. So the, whatever the, the ask is, has life, can continue on. So the ask, original ask for the exhaust hood and the firemen's phys firefighters' physicals, the exhaust hood was a little over $80,000, $81,000. The physicals uh, were not... Um, Included in a variety of ways, he did them everywhere, to, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and rightly so. Everything. I totally get it. So the table we have voted to table the exhaust system. It's important to bear in mind the fire building, public safety complex has vents and louvers. This is an upgraded system, and that's an important thing to bear in mind. So there was there was a hold on that truck lease year three. Absolutely endorse that. We know we have to pay for it, and the storage. How many, can, how many years lease was it? Scott? It was five. Five, five yeah. years. Okay. Um, the storage container for storage uh, for storing things that are otherwise in the garage in odd seasons mm -hmm. made a great deal of sense and it is an asset. The only thing that came out of our discussion, one of the members said, you know, all of the places around here, can you get a, you know, someone must have a 42 foot container that they're getting rid of. Maybe that's an avenue to look at. So we'll bring that back for George, but it's in the budget, $6,000. 
Uh, and then down to the library, there was uh, masonry repairs, which makes a great deal of sense. The HVAC, which is an estimated item for replacements for two years, uh, two units per year. And then power washing of roof and exterior. The two uh, areas, masonry and power washing of the roof, are really functions of uh, long-term maintenance, and they extend the life of the asset. So we thought it was an appropriate spend to come out of the capital budget. Thank you. Uh, fire, uh, cruiser, yeah, as, as one of our members says, yeah, you're going to buy them all the time. So anyway, there's a $50,000 ask for the cruisers. There was a hold on bulletproof vests and firearm replacement. The vests and firearm replacement, I really thought the vests have historically come from grant rounds. And the firearm replacement, we have to ask ourselves if you're going to be replacing them with this measure of frequency, why aren't they inside the operating budget? Yeah. Right. How huh? much? You know how much? The ask was for nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars. Firearms replacement was nine thousand dollars. That's um, under the ten thousand. It's, it's under the ten. It's a, anyway, it's a piece of equipment that. Yeah. Ongoing right. replacement. You know you have to replace them every. Correct. Put a line in the. They've expense. got a known shelf life. Right. They have a shelf life. Yeah. Good way to put it. Uh, engineering for mm -hmm. complete streets was yes. Election equipment and voting machine were and, both yes. And, and, and that, and just so people know, the election equipment is that we are planning on move where we're hold elections. That's part of it, correct. And, and right now, the elections take place in the elementary school. Um, last year, there was a couple elections that took place while school was in session. Yep. Um, and we're just thinking that's probably not the best place for them any longer. Yeah. The library is available, mm -hmm. and um, I, I think now we're, we're adding parking in the back here. Right. I, there's gonna be a lot of reasons why that um, it may be better to hold right. the, the elections here at the, uh, at the, the, the public library mm -hmm. instead of the schools. And I think most people would understand that, um, but to do that, the town clerk is, right, when I talk to the town clerk, she needs to uh, have some uh, voting voting booths moved over there, yeah. um, have available, um, we'll each can be able to set it up nice, nicer than the way we had it, so. Well, there's restrictions about lines of sight and et cetera that are important, and if our, yeah, our equipment doesn't fit the bill currently. Correct. In, so, in, in a new location. Right, yeah. so so we, we think it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and we've talked about it in the past. As we we worked with a school, um, and this isn't coming from this isn't coming this isn't coming from it's not a request from the school about moving us out. It's it's uh, coming from the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. um, just watching what's been going on. Uh, make we it a little more we, efficient. Well, we can't we can't we have to understand what's going on in the world right now. So the last recommendation was for repair of some siding and some flashing at the elementary school, in particular yeah. on that north side where yep. you have. <laughs> so, so plates exposed and you want to get that wrapped up yeah. there were two other asks an oil tank maintenance and then uh, window replacement and uh, those are both tabled as well so that was our total and the total of mike is 200 168 168 48 because we have to have 48 cents in there somewhere i know <laughs> damn interest yeah. um and again out of that the move what would normally be 175 by formula we're only asking in this in this budget 88. okay thank you scott and those were all unanimous by the way good all right sorry my question was premature no 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 <laughs> spot on it's like are you, gonna, you know are we gonna we're already gonna break we're already gonna break the formula for free cash anyway by not applying it that we're supposed to so I was go right back to the good old days of not spending any money on capital either. Not yet, Scott. Not yet. No. <laughs> not, yet. Not, yet. not yet. Not yet, Scott. All right. Those were the good old days, huh? Yeah, the good old days. All right. Anything else? That's all. I think our warrant is no. done at that point. Our motions are done as well. Right. Okay. Select board updates. Uh, we're, uh, we have written exchanges with uh, both negotiating groups on uh, 
money item said frontier. Aren't you supposed to be done by now? We have written correspondence on money with both bargaining units at Frontier. Okay, anything else? That's all. Anything from you? Kind of along the lines of what he said. <laughs> and our, our uh, <laughs> negotiating partner is um, at home enjoying the bounty of two twins. Hey. Or a pair of twins, I should, or a nice. set of twins. Um, so our next, <laughs> yeah. All right. Sherry, got anything to add? Um, I just have one recommendation <laughs> from the assessors for the um, vendor for the Evaluation. valuations. And there's a savings there to uh, Roy Bishop. Um, so his moved. quote was for the yeah. Patriots, so that helped. S identical Bishop. service? Yeah, it's just a smaller. Here we go. Um, the maid. Yeah. Let's do it. Second. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Zero, Sherry, um, Sherry, do how, how are the easements coming along on uh, Hadley Road? Um, they are signed. Um, one, I think just Scott needs to sign off, but the um, property owners have signed off, and we're just Good. working on it. Both if property owners. Um, Sugar Loaf is in the works. Lawyers, real estate uh, holding company. On it, so yeah. it has to go through subordination, but it's all going. It's just. Process, so. Lawyers come up with the funnest names, like <laughs> subordination. Yes, subordination of the mortgage. Did uh, Taylor Davis tell you how long they're going to be before they finish up out here? Mm. <laughs> oh, you know, weather and all of those things, getting the paving crew out. Uh, it's moving along. Okay. Yeah. Michael, anything? Hey, so next week, we're going to be reviewing the, the numbers stuck in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll be going. They're not, they're not, they're not going to move too much. No, we can't worry that. Peter, you have anything to add? All right. Elliot, you guys all set? Yeah, we're meeting Monday. Bring money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bring money. I'll up Bring money. Send you new spreadsheets and stuff. So. Okay. Without, uh, without ado, <laughs> ask for uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. 3 0 8 16 near Ethic Thank you.